Hi, this is Jay Farner, CEO of Rocket Mortgage. Making the right financial decisions has never been more important. We can help guide you to those right decisions now when they matter most. Mortgage rates are near historic lows. So when you call 8338-ROCKET or visit us at rocketmortgage.com to start your refinance, you'll be well on your way to saving money every month. The rate today on our 30-year fixed rate mortgage is 3.375%, APR 3.59%. Right now could be a great time for you to take some positive financial steps forward with a cash-out refinance from Rocket Mortgage, which could give you the boost that you're looking for. In addition, we may be able to help you refinance with little or no out-of-pocket costs. At Rocket Mortgage, we're committed to every client, every time, no exceptions, no excuses, giving you the best mortgage experience. Call us today at 8338-ROCKET or go to rocketmortgage.com to learn more. Rates subject to change. Pay 1.875% fee to receive this discounted rate. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. And MLS number 3030. Good morning, America. This is the Cats Roundtable. John Katzman, he's here Sunday morning. Well, lots of things happening in the world. And another area of concern is Armenia and Azerbaijan. With us this morning is Dr. Bill Parker, a foreign policy expert, a former uh, a Navy man, very senior ranks in the Navy. And uh, good morning, Dr. Parker. How are you this morning? Good morning, sir. Doing great, and it's a, it's a pleasure to be back on your show. Uh, Dr. Parker, uh, so many things happening in the Far East, in the Middle East, and uh, Azerbaijan. People don't talk about Azerbaijan that much. Tell us what's going on between Azerbaijan and Armenia. Well, it's, it's really interesting as I, uh, I talk to fellow Americans, uh, find out uh, how, how little kind of is known about those two countries. So I'll just touch on those if I could. Uh, you can imagine uh, Armenia is about the size of Maryland. Azerbaijan is about the size of Indiana. And they're fighting over a, uh, a region called uh, Nagorno-Karabakh, and that's about the size of Rhode Island. So that gives you an idea, and this has been going on for, uh, for quite a while. If you look at uh, the country of Armenia, uh, they are landlocked countries surrounded by Russia, Azerbaijan, Iran, Turkey, and Georgia. Uh, and they are predominantly Christian country, 96% Christian. And Azerbaijan on the other side, which is about three times larger by area and four times larger by population than Armenia, is about 91, 92% uh, Islamic. So you have a Christian country and an Islamic country, and they've really been butting heads since the early 1900s. Um, and I, I understand you travel through the region uh, extensively at one time. Or, uh, tell us, uh, is, is there a solution to that? Well, there is. And, and yes, I've been, uh, I've been to uh, the countries uh, very recently and, uh, and, and several times. Uh, I can tell you that there are, um, there are possible solutions here. You have to go back and look at the fact that uh, one, Armenia has experienced a significant uh, ethnic cleansing uh, from, from Turkey. Um, uh, about two-thirds of their borders are closed. So the Turks and Azerbaijan have both closed the borders to Armenia. Uh, in addition to that, they have been dealing with this since 1918. And then, uh, you know, the Nagorno-Karabakh region was annexed by the Soviet rulers in 1923, but then the Soviet Union split into several parts. A war broke out, and then about 30,000 people were killed during the six-year war between 1988 and 1994. So this has been significant. And you say 30,000 people with Armenia that has a, a population of 3 million, that's, uh, that's significant. Uh, Dr. Parker, um, I have a lot of Armenian friends, They're very decent people. And uh, Armenia is a country... It's not a country. It's part of Turkey. Is is Turkey protecting them against Azerbaijan? Who is on whose side? Well, Armenia actually is an independent country in itself. It has a prime minister, has a president, President Armin Sarkissian, uh, who's a Ph.D. in physics, a uh, very uh, well-informed individual, former uh, ambassador to London. Uh, and uh, And so what you have here is uh, a, a agreement, a security agreement with Armenia and Russia, two Christian countries, predominantly Christian countries. Uh, and then on the other side, you have a security agreement between Armenia and Turkey. And in fact, a lot of the uh, high-tech weapons that are coming into Azerbaijan right now are coming from Turkey. So Turkey and Azerbaijan are aligned. 
Armenia and Russia are aligned. However, Russia provides as many weapons to Azerbaijan as they do to Armenia. Uh, and it's a very interesting relationship because both countries are former Soviet uh, countries. And so when you, when you really get right down to it, it appears that you have Turkey and Azerbaijan, Armenia right now kind of on their own, but there is a large Russian military base in Armenia that could potentially help uh, at least uh, uh, have Azerbaijan and Turkey uh, take second thoughts before they come any further into Armenia, which is a relatively small country, as we've discussed. Dr. Parker, I hate to say it this way. It looks like uh, everybody's in the arms business, and it's a, how much business you can... Uh, you're going to do selling arms to different countries, creating wars, and, and doing more business, and it's sad. Uh, I'm glad you're on top of it, Dr. Parker, and um, I'm glad, you know, you used to be with an organization that uh, sought peace in the world, and uh, and now I understand you've gone into private practice. Oh, uh, that's correct, and I'm, uh, I'm enjoying that, and uh, those organizations, uh, East West Institute, which I was uh, with for uh, five years, did, does and, and did great work. But uh, it was time for me to transition into something else. And uh, again, I uh, I very much appreciate all those people around the globe that are helping uh, provide peace uh, around the globe. It's really important. Dr. Bill Parker, thank you for what you do for our country and what you do for the world and uh, cre- try to create peace. And uh, we'll catch up with you again real soon. Thank you, sir. It's good talking to you. Thank you. This is the Cats Roundtable. We'll be right back. 